large bear and my amazement. You recognize that cat? That's me, Jackie Rogers Jr. For years, I was committed to an up-tempo melody and a chirpy two-step. But now I've been inspired by a new commitment. A commitment that has brought me to what they call the Great Rotunda. It's funny. That's what I used to call the late, great Toady Fields. <laughs> And it's because of that commitment that I have chosen to toss my hat into the political arena, as it were, and announce my candidacy for the presidency of these duly United States, including Puerto Rico, which works out perfectly because my lady happens to have a home there. <laughs> the preceding was paid for by the committee to elect Jackie Rogers, Jr. Tired of ordinary television? Don't touch that dial. SCTV is now on the air. Starring Joe Flaherty, Eugene Levy, Andrea Martin, and Martin Short. Television like you've never seen it before. This is the SCTV Television Network. Jackie Rogers, Jr. on the issues. Our relations with the Eastern Bloc nations, as it were, are like a very bad roadshow production of the Helen Keller story. Zero communication, man. <laughs> Funny story. Not three weeks ago, I was skinny dipping with a lady friend of mine when suddenly something brushed against my thigh. And for a fleeting moment, I thought, Eureka, Jackie's in luck. But it was not to be. For it turned out to be a dead mackerel, man. I don't know. It gets you thinking. I'm not 110% sure of my facts on this one, but if it's just a matter of a couple of grand, good Lord, I've got that on me. I don't think anyone, not even in the deep south, man, can argue with the fact that this has been Michael Jackson's year. Although, as a performer, my heart goes out to a certain Mr. Lionel Richie. The preceding was paid for by the committee to elect Jackie Rogers, Jr. It's time for the Halfwits. Tonight, the exciting semifinals. And here's the host of the Halfwits, Alex Trebell. Thank you, Johnny Ola. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Halfwits. Tonight, the semifinals, where the best contestants that have appeared on the show over the past season are teamed up and pitted against each other to see who will end up in our exciting championship round. And as hard as it is to believe, these four people have ended up here tonight. So now let's meet our contestants. <laughs> Arthur Andrew Liggett. And Arthur, what have you been up to since your last appearance on the show? Oh, I've, you know, I've, I've the usual. Like, uh, like what? Oh, just, um, the usual. The usual what? Uh, stuff. Good. Always a treat chatting with you, Arthur. And, uh, and now let's meet your lucky partner. I met him already. I'm sorry? I met him already, Alex. I know him. We know, Arthur. I thought perhaps the studio audience would, uh, like a chance to, uh, to meet him. Oh. Once again, if that's all right with you. <laughs> let's welcome Wesley Wilkes. Wesley, uh, very nice to have you back. Really? How have you been? Well, not too good, Alex. My, my back's been bothering me. I've got this ache in my lower back. It's terrible. <laughs> like this morning, you know, I was really irritable. The pain was so bad I could barely breathe. Really wonderful. Really nice, Wesley. Uh, good luck to both of you. And now let's meet your opponents. Let's say hello to Blanche Ray Kellogg. Hello? And Blanche, I understand you recently got married. Yes, I did. That is correct, Alex. Um, how long have you been married? Since the wedding, straight through. Who's the lucky guy? My husband. Blanche, can we expect to hear the pitter-patter of little Ray Kellogg feet in the future? I don't understand, Alex. Are you planning to have kids, children? No, I'm afraid not, Alex. I'm going to concentrate on my career. And what is that? 
housewife and hopefully mother. Mm-hmm. Excellent choice. Blanche Ray Kellogg. And finally, Lawrence Orbach. Righto, Alex. And Lawrence, I understand that uh, congratulations are in order. Yes, they are. Would you care to tell us why? No, not, not sure. Did you not just graduate from high school? Yes, I, I think I did. Congratulations. Lawrence, so you're not possibly considering college, are you? Yes and no, Alex. I'm considering offers from Harvard. And they have a fine football team, Alex, but I'm not exactly sure where Harvard is, so yeah. I don't know how I would make any of the games. Very, very good. And now I think it's time to get down to the business of playing Halfwits. <laughs> and quite simply, here's how the semifinals work. Each team gets to pick a category out of which comes a mystery word which one player has to convey to his partner by using up to three words to describe it. For example, if the mystery word is baseball, one might use these three words to describe it. Pitch, hit, slide. Now, each team has one minute to guess as many mystery words as they can. However, if they guess incorrectly, that same mystery word goes to the other team who can use the remaining time to chalk up as many points for themselves as they can. Now, each mystery word is worth five points, and the team ahead on points at the end of the first round gets to pick the category for the following round. The team ahead at the end of three rounds gets to play our fast lightning round, where each mystery word is worth 50 points with only a 30-second time limit. Now, any questions? Yes, Arthur. Do you have the time, Alex? <laughs> time is uh, 8.35. Thank you. Alex? Alex? Yes, Lawrence. Alex, if the word baseball comes up, can we use the same words that you just used? Well, Lawrence, uh, I was just using that as an example. I don't think the word baseball will come up. Yes, but Alex, if it comes up... Then yes, yes, you can use the same three words that I used. Because those are good words, pitch, hit, slide. Lawrence, we have to move on. Right. Team Captain Arthur Andrew Liggett, confer with your partner and pick a category. Um, I don't know what, what you want with me. Kind of looks good. Um, 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 Arthur, we need a category. Okay. Um, I need a good kind of I don't know what that is. Um, how about that? Something else. Tundra. Arthur, we need a category. All right. Um, Tundra. 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 Um, well, all right. Um, oh, um, favorite pets. <laughs> Favorite pets is the category. Arthur and Wesley, you have one minute and go. <laughs> Arthur, you're wasting valuable time here. Well, no points on that. Uh, Arthur would have helped if you had said something just to help your partner out. The word was Lassa Absa. You could have said dog to bet short. No points on that. And uh, Lawrence and Blanche, the door's wide open here. Pick a category. Well, Alex, I've always had a soft spot for airplanes. So we'll go with Frank Lloyd Wright. <laughs> Frank Lloyd Wright uh, is the category. Uh, Blanche and Lawrence, you have one minute and go. Cockpit. Cockpit? <laughs> Sorry, that answer is incorrect. No points on that. Um, please keep your category in mind when giving the clues. It uh, really helps. Now, because of that incorrect answer, Arthur and Wesley, you can complete that round. Wesley, the word is yours, and go. Functional. <laughs> Cockfight. Um, I'm sorry, no points on that. That was uh, very, very wrong. Now, I'm only going to say this once. Please listen to me. Contestants, you can't just repeat the word that's on the card. You have to describe it so your partner can guess it. And Lawrence Frank Lloyd Wright was not one of the Wright brothers. He was an architect. Uh, please, if you have any questions about your category, ask them up front. We can save everybody a lot of time. All right? Does everybody understand? Yes, Arthur. Who's ahead at this point, Alex? Nobody! <laughs> Is ahead on points? We haven't had a correct answer yet. Nobody's ahead. And uh, let's just calm down here at this point and collect your little thoughts. And uh, Johnny will tell our viewers at home what our contestants could win tonight on Halfwits.
Well, Alex, tonight on Half Wits, one of our teams could win a brand new stereo record cleaner. The soft, but durable record cleaner brush acts magically to keep your stereo record collection dust from it free. Just one wipe with this priceless little item removes dust and foreign particles that settle on your records, giving them longer life and a look that spells brand new. Yes, save money by keeping your records in vintage condition with the new record cleaner brush by Rush. Rush, the, the brush people. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Johnny Ola. And ladies and gentlemen, because our teams are stalemated at zero right now and the chances of getting a correct answer seem dismal at this point, to say the least. I have decided to flip a coin to see which team will go into our lightning round. So we'll now call on our team captains, Lawrence Orbach and Arthur Andrew Liggett to step forward for the coin toss. Gentlemen, are you ready? Ready, ready Alex. Alex. Okay, call it while it's in the air, please. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go first. You go first. Doesn't matter who goes first. Just call the coin while it's in the air. Okay, here we go. Alex? <laughs> yes, Arthur? I forgot what those things are. What things? Um, you know, those things. What things? Uh, the things on the coin. Heads and tails. A little slow upstairs, uh, Alex. Just <laughs> call it while it's in the air. It's really not that difficult. Here we go. Heads. Heads. You can't both call heads. You see, one person calls heads, the other person calls tails. That's all there is to it, okay? Call it while it's in the air, please. Here we go. Okay. Heads. You said heads last time. All right, return to your seats. Does it matter which seats we go back to? I don't care. Just return to your seats. Here we go. I will, please. And uh, we're out of time. No winners, no surprise, no correct answers. What else is new? So until next time, if indeed there is a next time, this is Alex Trevell saying good night. Tails. Tails, Alex. Tails, Alex. Tails, Alex. Tails? Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Tails, Tails Alex. Alex, look. I'm pushing the buggy. <laughs> hey, Alex. 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 From the bottlers of Moose Beer, comes an exciting new Canadian whiskey. Smooth, mellow, aged in wooden vats. Catcher in the Rye Rye, distinctively delicious. And in every bottle of Catcher in the Rye Rye, you get a lifelike porcelain statue of a famous Major League Baseball catcher. Look, it's Elston Howard, Johnny Bench, Gary Carter, Rick Cerrone, Manny Sanguian, and the greatest catcher of them all, Yogi Berra. That's right, there are 285 uniquely different catchers in this amazing series. And you can collect them all simply by drinking Catcher in the Rye Rye. Yes, when it comes to baseball, nobody's more important than the catcher. And when it comes to great rye, you can't beat Catcher in the Rye Rye. Catcher in the Rye Rye. Get a bottle today. Drink it and start your collection of great baseball catchers tonight. Join Brock Linehan on Stars in One when his guest will be Bob Hope. Do you, do you not feel that the alienation of the youth that took place during that war for you has been a youth market you were never able to recapture and therefore led to you retiring from films in 72 with the exception of the Frank Oz participation? You know, you, could, you have a way of asking a question that makes you forget what it's all about by the time you get to the end. You gotta, you, you, when you stop talking, it's like walking to the edge of a cliff. I have no idea what you just asked. Or something about Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah, that Vietnam. bummed me out. I really, I blame the whole thing in Vietnam on the French. They've been weasels from, the, from day one. I did Paris Holiday with Fernandel, and I found out just what kind of weasels the French are, you know. They may love Jerry Lewis, but I don't have a high regard for them at all. Dalton Trombone. That's next month on Stars in One. Yeah. Jackie Rogers Jr. cares about working America. Hi, how are you doing? Please remember me at election time. 
I'm interested in ruling your land. Factory work can be a bummer, huh? <laughs> Long day, I suppose. The fact of the matter is that foreign countries are dumping steel in the market and completely undercutting American industry. Good Lord, man. And this is, you heard this? I'm floored. Is anybody getting this down? You know, I once worked in a factory for a summer as a teenager, and the thing that I could never get over, man, was the damn noise. Good Lord, the machinery. Bang, 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 bang. And the company don't even have a hot lunch program, they don't, so that if you don't eat enough in the morning, you're hungry again by noontime, you are. With this information in my head that you have given me, sir, I'm angered. You have got to be identifying with the recent smash film starring the wondrous Miss Jennifer Beals. Is Jackie right? Let me guess. You're off to a club to dance the wee hours of the night away, followed by a brisk on-stage shower. I'm gonna vote for Jackie Rogers Jr., I am. You should vote for him too, you should. The preceding was paid for by the committee to elect Jackie Rogers, Jr. We've been ripped off. And it's not the first time in the last few weeks that our competition has got a hold of one of our scripts. Coming soon, FCTV is caught in a web of espionage. Did you know Mr. Caballero's orders? He was very pacific about it. Nobody leaves the barracks until we find out who the spy is, okay? This is shocking. You don't quarantine a member of the Fifth Estate. I'm sorry. Watch for Fred Willard as the mystery of the stolen scripts unfolds. I love New York. It's exciting. It pulsates. It's my kind of town. But something happened last night that really turned my head around. I was lying in bed, really feeling good about myself, when all of a sudden I hear this scream outside. I ran to the window to see what was happening, and I see a gang of ruffians mugging this old lady. It was brutal. I was going to yell for help, but then I realized the whole neighborhood was already watching, and they were laughing. Call the cops, I screamed. Then this guy leans out of the window and says, yeah, wait a few minutes, we're having too much fun. They left a poor woman to suffer because they were having too much fun. Now who's to blame for this, huh? You? 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 I know it wasn't me. So it must have been the rest of you out there. The blood is on your hands. The ball is in your court. Now let's see you run with it. Calvin Klein Jeans. This is an SCTV News Update with Earl Cannonbear. In a shocking and unexpected move, Jackie Rogers Jr. has withdrawn from the presidential race. This has been a controversial and hectic campaign since it began five days ago at the Las Vegas caucus, where his longtime friend Rose Marie placed his name in nomination. Jackie's campaign has been plagued from day one, when he was unable to complete his own celebrity 50-yard dash to raise funds for his candidacy. But it was his loss of the women's vote due to his public brawling with his common-law wife, Angelique, that sealed his fate. At one point at a luncheon for the Daughters of the American Revolution, Rogers screamed at his wife, and I quote, Look, my whore lady, all you or any woman wants is a charge card. Regular servicing on your demand and, and it goes on here. So now we'd like to take you poolside at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas where Jackie Rogers Jr. is standing by. Jackie, can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear, Sir Earl. I'm talking to you from Caesar's private indoor pool built especially for the magic act of Siegfried and Roy to enable them to frolic with their live animals. <laughs> A little bit of Caesar's history for you, sir. <laughs> they're here, they're here. You took your sweet time, Cherise. <laughs> there you go, Rhonda. Oh. oh. Jackie, why did you withdraw from the race? 
interesting question. I was campaigning in Minnesota, if you will, and I get a call, truth, from the king himself, Mr. Wayne Newton, who has completely <laughs> lost his voice due to desert throat. I mean, we're talking nada. And he says to me, and I can barely understand him, mind you, because of the desert thing. He says, Jackie, what are you doing for the next eight weeks? And I said, why crisscrossing our nation, sir? Why do you ask? And he said, what would you say if I guaranteed you eight weeks, Caesar's Palace, main showroom, opening Tuesday? Well, appealing to his Indian heritage, I immediately replied, me plenty interested. <laughs> <laughs> because when I thought about it, Earl, eight weeks at Caesar's versus four years in Pennsylvania Avenue, I don't know. You know me, EC. I've always hated long runs. Anyone playing Kino at this table? Oh, me do, me do, me do. <laughs> Roxanne, what's your birthday? Let me guess, the 26th. <laughs> I just knew it. Jackie, uh, do you have any words for your supporters, the people who stood by you during the campaign? Earl, I certainly do. Mm. <laughs> A song for our land including the fine folk down Puerto Rico way. What? what is America to me? A house, a home, a land I see. A simple word, democracy. That is America to me. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> democracy. Well, there you have it. Uh, Jackie Rogers Jr. has withdrawn from the race. And now let's hope he withdraws from the human race. <laughs> I'm Earl Cannonbear. Good. <laughs> This has been an SCTV News Update.